that's the most important boot fact. Google sees your site as data. Here's a brute fact. Your website is code. Your website is HTML code, hypertext markup language. Here's another brute fact. All websites are HTML code, no matter what service you use. Wix, Weebly, WordPress, Paysetter site, all websites are HTML. One more brute fact, perhaps the most important, your website is data. In fact, Google sees your site as data, and maybe that's the most important brute fact. Google sees your site as data. Now, HTML makes your data, your website, easy for Google to read, and it makes your site better for accessibility for screen readers. But for search engines alone, just for search optimization, if you edit your website, you should know a little bit about uh, how the code, how HTML works. If you edit your site a lot, you should know a lot more about how it works. That's the brute fact. Again, this applies to every website and every system. Paysetter site, Square, Wix, Weebly, WordPress, all of them. All white websites are HTML, and when you edit a site, you're editing the code, the code that talks to Google the right way or the wrong way. This is a series of HTML tutorials and an, an orientation uh, for anybody who edits a website, especially beginners, no matter what system you use. Uh, some of this will be general information about how a website code is structured, uh, and I'll show you some example code. You won't need to memorize it, but it'll give you a sense of what's going on. And I'll show you the most important bits of code every editor uh, or uh, writer should understand. It's like we're taking a tour of the Grand Canyon. Some of what you'll see is a high-level view to see the general lay of the land. Sometimes we'll fly a little lower and look down to see some details so we can appreciate the complexity of the system. And sometimes we'll get right down into the rapids because if you edit a website, you need to know some of the exact detail. Because when you edit a website, you edit the code, the code that talks to Google and works with screen readers. So you should understand a few things. First, you're watching this intro video, keep watching. Uh, coming up is an orientation to the HTML structure of a page. And then in another video, I have the seven things every editor should know. That's it. It's not a lot. They're the seven bits of HTML I want my clients to know if they edit their websites. I'll follow up with other videos with other bits of HTML people should know. But for now, here's the orientation I mentioned. Here's the general structure of many websites. You've seen these before. There's a header at the top. It stays the same on all pages. At the bottom, there's a footer. It's the same on all pages. And in the middle, there's a main section. That's the content for each page. The only thing we're concerned with is the content of the site. And two other things, something called the title and the description. Every page has these. They're mostly hidden. They're what's called the head of the HTML, mostly hidden from users, but they're very important to search optimization. Every system has these, a title and description for every page. That's what we'll pay attention to, and then the content. But wait, there's a major concept I want you to understand. We separate style from content in HTML on websites. So when we're editing the content, we're not concerned with how big the text is, what color the fonts are. That should be handled somewhere else in the, in the entire system, in the theme or the design for the site. So don't style individual elements. Let the system do that. Don't try to change the color of headlines or text and things like that because local styles are not necessarily, but they could be a very bad practice, especially for those systems that allow you to uh, add fonts and animations. They can really slow a site down. Now let's look at an example website. So this is Paysetter site. Header at the top, there's a few headlines. There's another headline here. There's a lower level headline, and you'll see that in the next video. There's some text, another headline, some text. This is the way humans see it in a browser. Now, let's take a look at the code for that same site. Look at this mess of cryptic code and gobbledygook. You don't need to pay attention to much of this. I'm showing you just to show you that this exists. This is really what websites look like. It's text that makes up this code that tells browsers how to display the site. 
Now it looks intimidating, like there's a lot to know here. Watch how simple we can make this. Bang, we're down to seven things. Look how simple that is. And this is all we're gonna pay attention to, the title. And you don't even need to remember exactly how the title appears in the code, just that it exists. This is in the, this title is buried in the middle of all of this code on the full site. We're only paying attention to title. Same with description. When it comes to editing content, we have a headline tag, we have a uh, paragraph tag, uh, and these will be intermixed uh, in several different ways because there's other headlines other than H1, H2, H3, H4. We'll talk about that in the next video. We're also gonna uh, pay attention only to the alt tag of an image, uh, as well as how to do a little bit of local styling with bold and italic, and how to do links. That's it. The seven things every editor needs to know uh, if they edit a website. That's in the next video. I will include that link in the description below. But to summarize, all websites are HTML, all websites are data. If you edit a website, you should know a little bit about HTML so your site talks to Google the right way. Now, find that link to the next video in the description below and thanks for watching. Hey, one more important detail that I forgot. Well, while I have you, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Was that a good take?